All right, everybody. So the special guest I've been talking about nonstop is here, or has called in because it is nighttime, or morning time there, nighttime here. Um, so Tokyo, why don't you say hi to everybody? Hello. How's everyone doing? <laughs> All right. So how you doing tonight? Yeah, very well. well. This morning. This oh, that's right. It's morning there. Gosh, we were just talking about this too. Morning, I'm night. Like, I literally just woke up and got out of bed. I'm I'm very glad that you woke up. I told you that you had to wake up, or I'd be very upset. Uh, I, had, I had my alarm set for you. Fantastic. <laughs> right. That makes me feel good. All right, so I have some questions that I've been asking around. Um, first off, I have a, a friend who wanted me to tell you that you have to get your butts over here, like, as soon as possible because of that poster that y'all sent me in my room. Um, I've been getting, that's how I've been getting a lot of people. They come into my room and been like, who is that? Who are they? They look awesome. And I'd be like, that's brittle. <laughs> Well, we are we are absolutely shaking to get over there every day. Every time we have a meeting with our management, we're just talking, trying to plan, you know, putting putting in plans at the moment to try and get our office over there. So fantastic! I thought, um, didn't you say that there was a an American tour for March, like around my birthday? Uh, oh well, yeah. I think we're looking at doing some. We're trying to organize the tour at the moment. I think. We might come over there for like four or five weeks first, just to do like a tour and then come back and then plan like another trip. So I can't say exactly what is going on at the moment because I haven't, you know, we haven't exactly planned on what we're doing, but we're definitely organizing something. So Awesome. I can't wait. You have to come to New York because I'm going to get a group, big, big, big group of people and hopefully a lot of you Marymount kids will listen to me and listen to you guys because you'll be played on every show. Uh, just because you're awesome. Um, all right. So I saw on Twitter that you were recording some new stuff. Um, is it going to be a full-length album, or are you going to be doing another smaller album, like uh, The Owls? Uh, we, yeah, we don't know yet. We've just, we're just, I mean, we're always writing, so we're just working on some new stuff, and then I guess once we've got all the right material, and we'll kind of, you know, plan what we're going to do with it from there, so... I mean, I'd love to do a full-length album, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I would love to hear more music from y'all, because I've, uh, I've only heard, uh, it's Chinese Whisper and then The Owls, right? It, yeah. All right. And they're both great albums. Chinese Whisper is the one that I listened to when you, uh, you guys told me to, so I was like, oh, this is awesome. What, about, <laughs> like a yeah. year ago or something. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, um, there's a difference between uh, ch y'all changed your style up a little bit between your first album and your second album. Why'd y'all do that? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess like because we're, I mean, we live in Melbourne at the moment, but we're originally from a small town called Byron Bay, which is very far away. But I guess when we moved to Melbourne, we were still kind of trying to find our ground and our feet, and like Chinese whispers was kind of like just us, like you know, kind of moving around and trying to find ourselves. And then by the time it came to, like, writing the hours, we were kind of had, like, a lot more of an idea of what we wanted to do as a band and, you know, musically. So I think that's kind of why we, why it sounded a little bit different, like it does. So. Well, both of them are great albums, so you're you're doing a great job. Um, no, thank you. <laughs> well, you got me as a fan, so and that's, you know, not, a, not an easy thing to do, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So you just finished the Owls tour not long ago. How was that? Yeah, it was really fun. It's, it feels like it went so quick. Like we were so excited for it, and it went for almost three months over here. Like it honestly feels like it went for a week. Now that I look back at it, I yeah. think we just had such a good time. So yeah, I want to get back out on the road again now. Are y'all doing any shows right now? Or are you just recording? Yeah, still doing. We actually just got back from the weekend. Like. We were just away. We played a festival with some really cool bands and another show in Sydney. So we're still doing a few shows at the moment because we're just trying out some new songs live and trying to get them, you know, get them played to some people, get the feel right. So they're still playing. Yay! Awesome. So um, 
As I'm saying. Oh yeah, so for those of you who want to know a little bit more about the Owls Tour, they do have some tour videos up on YouTube, which I have watched. I, they were pretty cool. Looks like y'all had so, so much fun. Um, YouTube, Brittle. Um, I think you can get to your YouTube from Facebook and MySpace. Is that right? There should be some, yeah, there's some, some links on Brittle Online and up on our MySpace, so yeah, you'll be able to follow some links to check out some YouTube videos on there. Awesome. So, um, I keep saying awesome. That seems like such a filler word. I don't like that word. I'm going to stop using it. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> awesome, yes. Um, so, why don't you talk about a little bit of your influences? Like, how'd y'all get into music? Like, yeah. Yeah, I think, well, me and Billy, like, my bass player, we're, we're both cousins, and we, like, grew up together, you know, since we were little, like, just with our parents, like, always been around each other. So, and our parents would always go to this aero club in um in our old hometown and they would always jam and you know do like family the kind of things and they would always have drum kit and like guitars set up and we'd always you know be around that kind of environment so you know we were always had like a bit of a musical influence background and um once we kind of you know just started getting a bit older we both got into the same bands together you know once we started getting into Blink-182 and we're you know at the end of our primary school and you know, so we always went through the same bands together, more like, you know what, let's, you play bass guitar and I'll play guitar and let's set a band. So it kind of, you know, basically started out like that. But um, I guess, like, musically, like, the influences, they kind of go from everything from old to new, different styles. Like, I mean, all four of us listen to complete different things. Like, it's unbelievable some of the stuff that we listen to. Like, it's, you know, so. Well, what's on your iPad right now? Um, well, my iPod just broke a couple of days ago, so I'm very devastated about that. Suck. I mean, I've got, <laughs> yeah, I've got my old, I've got my iPhone, so I just, I just, um, actually just got, like, a new EP from an Australian band called Miami Horror. They're, they're a completely different band as well. They're more of a, an 80s dance disco kind of band. It's a bit fun, but pretty cool. That sounds like fun. Yeah, I like, uh... <laughs> It's cool though when you when you get a group of people who have different music tastes together because you can always make something like epic and that's a really great thing. It's it's it gets kind of boring when you're around the same people who listen to the same music as you all the time. You know you don't learn as much. Yeah, exactly. And I think I always think because when we when we tour together, we've always got the same music on our iPod. So it's like you know what I'm gonna put like a lot of different stuff on mine. So. You know, the other boys are always going to have the other music that I want, want to listen to anyway, so... Yeah. I always try to load up with some different stuff. Well, for sure. Um, so, what about, like, the, the title, or the um, the name of the band? How'd y'all come about with that? The Owls. Um, the Owls or the Brittle? No, Brittle. Well, we can talk about the Owls in a minute anyways, because I was actually going to ask about ask you about that. Um, well, the band name was kind of just... There was nothing really to it. We were just very young. I think we were about 13 at the time. And we had our very first show coming up and we didn't have a name. And I'm pretty sure from what I can remember, I called it something else. But I think Jeff, our drummer, heard it, heard me say brutal. And it kind of just mended into that name. It was just, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, and then we just, you know, kind of stuck with it and it kind of grew with us. So. And uh, what about the Owls? How did you come out with that name? The Owls, I think I, I got really excited about the artwork for the Owls. Like when I was thinking about an EP title, I could see the kind of imagery that I really wanted to get. And by talking to an artist as well, like I corresponded with her to get like some ideas and it kind of just fell into place. And then I guess out of all the animals to choose, I think Owls would be the best way to describe a band because, you know, most bands, you know, they come out at night to, you know, play on stage and play their shows, and so I think that was kind of cool to, the, you know, choose the actual out. So. Yeah, actually, I love the artwork. That was one of the first things I noticed when uh, you guys were starting to promote it. Was it? It's a really, really cool uh, image, and y'all can see that um, it's their uh, Facebook picture right now. So definitely check that out. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I actually have a question for you, um, about you, because every time I, like, talk about y'all, I'd be like, okay, so this is Benny, Tokyo, Billy, and Jeff, and, like, this is Brittle, and they'd be like, his name is Tokyo? How did you get that nickname? 
Okay. This, I did, it's such a weird long story, but <laughs> basically when the days when MySpace was really big and I, I had my own MySpace profile, I, like in the About Me section, I was just, it was just all rubbish. Like I just wrote some of this really stupid stuff and a friend of mine actually saw it and said Tokyo Ben when it said something completely different. I can't remember because this is a few years ago now, but I guess like, they would come to our shows, they were just like some friends that would always be at our shows and they would always come along and they'd be yelling out, Tokyo Burn, like, what we were playing? I was like, what? Like, who is Tokyo Burn? And then, I guess, because there was two bands in the band, like, some, they always needed to, you know, change, like, one of the bands. And for yeah. some reason, I got stuck with Tokyo Burn, so now it's kind of just grown. And everyone calls me Tokyo Burn, which, you know, I don't know, I don't have a problem with it, it's fine. It's definitely a cool nickname. I'm not going to lie. I kind of wish my nickname was cooler. When people just call me KK, but that's all good. Um, oh, I feel like I had more questions. Oh, well, we'll, we'll talk some more. Um, what about your writing process? Kind of like there's a, a line that stuck out for me um, when I was listening to. Uh, um, I can't remember. Um, wow, brain dead. Um, Burn My Bridges, it's, uh, the ER has just reported that your heart has been deported. I love that line, and I just want to let y'all know that, but I want to, like, uh, who does most of the writing, or is it very collaborative? Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, I write, like, all the lyrics. Um, I guess for that song, I was kind of, that song was really inspired by, you know, really heartless people and people that don't really care about anyone and, you know, do really bad things, so I think that line was just more, you know, like a metaphor of, you know, that someone not really having an art and just, you know, doing things that, you know, might affect other people. That's cool. I, re- I, like, I just, I like, I don't know why, when I was, um, when I talked to people, that was around the time that you just had that one song out, and uh, I was telling okay. people, I'm like, I'm like, the ER has just reported that your heart has been deported. Like, I had it on my, um, my Facebook status for a while. I don't know why, it just, I loved it, and I thought it was really amusing. <laughs> But uh, on the Stones, I really like Stones. That is a really, really good song. Can you uh, talk about what inspired you to write that? Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, I guess we kind of wanted to put more of like a, a chilled out song on the EP. I mean, we only had five songs to, you know, showcase the band on the EP. So we were like, the Stones was written and we were like, we really like this song. And we, we like the really, you know, the, the retro 70s outro where it fades out with the guitar solo. We were really into that, so... No, we we're happy to put that on the EP, so we're stoked with it. Yeah, that that like just listening to it is by far my absolute favorite favorite song. So um, thank you. Yeah, is there uh, anything you wanted to tell people or talk about, or you know, I'm kind of running low on what I wanted to ask you, but um, basically, you know, like follow us on Twitter. We're at Brittle Rock. Um, you know, we're planning to get over to the States soon, so we'd love to start to try and build up some fans, you know, some American fans now. That'd be awesome. So, yeah, just check out Brittle Online or, or Twitter and, you know, follow us, hit us up, and we'll hopefully see you guys soon. Yeah. Yeah, um, they do. They're great guys. They're awesome, fun to talk to, and they play awesome music. So, um, we I really can't wait to y'all get over here. I know I say it, like, once a week when I... I'm drunk texting or tweeting or something like you gotta get over here so we can party I think I've said to all a couple of those huh <laughs> but yeah those those are always fun drunk tweets um have you ever drunk tweeted anybody have I ever sorry have you ever drunk tweeted anybody or drunk texted oh uh, yeah quite a few <laughs> <laughs> that happens all the time it's uh yeah it's unfortunate you know I'm doing that sometimes yeah. But uh, I'm going to uh, play another Brittle song, so we're going to play Stones because we were just talking about it, so do uh, you want to say goodbye to the people? Yeah, thank you guys so much for having me, and um, we'll hopefully see you guys soon when we get over there. All right, now this is uh, WMMC Radio, and this is Miss KV, and uh, you're still listening to Let's Do the World. All right.